What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be going over my review of Star Wars, The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. This book was published by Bantam Spectra in April of 1994, and it takes place about 8 ABY, or 8 years after the Battle of Yavin. If you like these kinds of videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more Star Wars book reviews in the future. And there will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your spoiler warning. And now, the Dramatis Personae. So, the first few characters are characters that you should know. Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker... Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Now some of the characters that were introduced for this book. So first up, you have Prince Isolder from Hapes. And yeah, he basically serves as, you know, a, a potential suitor for Princess Leia to marry. Then you have Tenennial Joe, a witch from Dathomir, not a knight sister. And then you have... Gethazarian, and she is a knight sister, so she's she's a she's a villain for this book. And then you have Warlord Zinge, who, like in the X-wing novels, you know he's a bad guy, and uh, this is his end in this book. And now to recap this book, so this book begins with Han Solo having come back from his five month hunt for warlord zinge and you know he wants to hang out with leia but he unfortunately can't do that due to the hapens coming and basically giving leia gifts and one of the gifts is their prince for her to marry and so yeah that causes some interesting tension between them and you know, desperate, so Han Solo basically is trying to figure out ways to offer Leia things so she marries him. And he settles on basically winning a planet in a game of Sabacc, which he does actually do. It is the planet of Dathomir, which is, uh, you know, in the beginning of the book, it's very unknown what it is. And so, you know, he goes to Leia and says, look, I have a planet for you. And she's like, oh, that's cute. And basically just leaves. So he becomes desperate. And he resigns his commission as general in the New Republic. And basically essentially kidnaps Princess Leia. And they go to Dathomir. Chewie and C-3PO go there as well. Uh, meanwhile, Luke has... He's, you know, he's doing... He's looking for Jedi stuff and lore and all that to help when he starts the Jedi Order again. And he... He uh, figures out some, finds a uh, a hollow of Yoda, you know, a couple hundred years ago, uh, talking about Dathomir. So he decides to go to Dathomir, but he doesn't know where that is. And so he's going to go to Leia, but, you know, long story short. So Han and Leia, they crash on Dathomir because it, it's under blockade by Zinge, and so they crash, and Luke goes to Coruscant, and basically him and Isolder, who Isolder wants to go rescue Princess Leia, so they go to Dathomir in search of Han Solo, and yeah, so basically, the two parties arrive on Dathomir, and are they are taken captive by the witches of Dathomir. Yeah, so eventually they all meet up and they decide to help the Night Sisters because the. Well not, not the Night Sisters. They decide to help the witches as the Night Sisters, their leader, get the Zarian, wants a ship to leave. So they gotta get out of here. They gotta fix the Falcon and get out of there quickly. And so they get the Falcon to the the witches area and they work on it then they have to go to uh, a old prison for to scavenge parts so they do that they do scavenge parts 
and they get there, but there's a big battle. The Night Sisters attack the the witch's uh, home, and so they do manage to fend the Night Sisters off, but a lot of casualties take place, and yeah, so at the end, basically, Gethzerian manages to get a an imperial transport but it is destroyed because Zin shoots it down and so that blows up and that takes out Gethzerian and some other night sisters and the uh the Hapen's fleet arrives at Dathomir to because they they were coming to obviously help with the rescue of Princess Leia and so they they basically take out the Imperials there and yeah and Han and Leia, I guess, reconnect and rediscover their love for each other, I guess. And, yeah. And Isolder falls in love with Tenennial. And so Isolder and Tenennial will get married and they'll rule the Hapens and they're joining the New Republic. And Han and Leia, they get married at the end of the book. So that's the that's the story of this book, basically what I liked. I like that we, cause this is the introduction of Dathomir, which is cool. It is different than what we see in like the Clone Wars. It's, it's, I guess you could say it's not as alien. Cause in, in the Clone Wars show, you know, it's very, the plant life looks very weird and it's got like a red sky and, and all that. But in this book, it's, it's, it's not earth, but it's, it's basically Earth tweaked a little bit. I mean, you have some rancors and some weird creatures and stuff like that. So it's it's a cool planet. So that's cool. Uh, I like the rancor stuff with like the the witches, where like yeah, like because they they have the rancors have armor, which I thought was a cool little touch, and all that, and they kind of form a bond with them. So I I thought that was interesting. In this, basically, you get to see the rancors as like helpful and useful um which i which is interesting what i didn't like there's there's a few nitpicky things and then there's uh, a couple of more major things so first thing in a couple of instances in this book it mentions that luke's lightsaber is blue it's not blue it's and it's not he's not using his father's lightsaber no it's this is his green one that he built you know so it's yeah, it's a little confusing. So it's a weird error to make because green and blue are not the same. So it's a little confusing. And yeah, um, honestly, this this book, I was really enjoying like the first chunk of it. And then, you know, once Han basically kidnapped Leia, it, it kind of felt out of character for Han Solo at this point where it's like, would Han Solo do this pre A New Hope? Yeah, I think so. But after all that stuff, I, I don't know. It just felt a little weird. I, I, yeah, and that kind of soured the whole rest of the book. Even though the book did pick back up once, um, they had arrived on Dathomir and and things got going, but it it never for me it never really recovered that, and it just kind of, yeah, it just kind of sat in the back of my mind. E even though it it ended nice, it's like. I can't give this, you know, like a, a, a really, really, really high score because, yeah, I think a, when I reread it, say in a couple of years, I think I should feel a little bit differently and I actually probably will end up liking the book more because, but yeah, as it stands, yeah, well, so let's just get into the rating. So I probably will end up giving this book, I think, a, a six and a half out of ten. That might seem a little low, but again, like th this, you know, this this isn't my favorite book I've read. Um, again, like, I guess you could say because I was actually looking forward to reading this book, and you know, I read it, and I'm kind of disappointed. But it was, it's a good book, I guess. So, but yeah, six six point five out of ten is where I'm gonna leave it. That might be 
not a common opinion. I don't know. We'll see. Well, let me know what you thought of this book if you've read it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.